Good afternoon, esteemed ladies and gentlemen. The ability to transport maximum payload over long distances in severe climatic conditions is essential for every military. And this task can be effectively solved by the hero of our today's video. Joint stock company Rossabaron Export, together with joint stock company United Aircraft Corporation, would like to bring you a presentation of the most modern modification of the legendary Il-76 aircraft, world bestseller in the military transport aircraft market, the latest Il-76MD-90AE military transport aircraft. Over the years of operation, the Il-76 has proven to be a reliable, efficient and low-maintenance aircraft, capable of transporting cargoes, equipment and passengers in any physical and geographical conditions, both in a hot, desert climate conditions and in the Arctic. Il-76 is one of the most popular military transport aircraft in its class. Overall, more than 950 aircraft of various modifications were produced. The final assembly of the modern modification of the Il-76 MD-90AE is carried out in Ulyanovsk, on the territory of the Aviastar, Ilyushin subsidiary, which is a part of the Russian UAC, of the Rostec State Corporation. Thanks to the continuous production assembly line realized at the plant, the production labor intensity has significantly decreased and, correspondingly, the rate of production of new aircraft has surged. The aircraft has absorbed the best functionality of previous modifications and thanks to fitting out with new engines, new wing, landing gear and modern avionics suite, the Illusion 76MD-90AE is able to perform the entire list of tasks assigned to modern heavy military transport aircraft, which are to ensure the transportation and landing of military and humanitarian cargoes, military equipment, including tanks, armored personnel carriers, armored vehicles and servicemen, round the clock, in favorable and adverse weather climate conditions, and at surrounding temperature of plus minus 60 degrees. The versatility of the Il-76 MD-90AE, with the possibility of its operational reconfiguration, allows the aircraft, in addition to solving transport landing tasks, to act as a firefighting aircraft and a medical aircraft with the possibility of providing medical assistance to injured on board. Il-76 MD-90AE has a number of key advantages, which include multifunctional employment, intercontinental payload range, that is, the ability to transport up to two companies of servicemen with full equipment in one sortie. One of the most important advantages as well is the equipment of the aircraft with an airborne defense system against guided missiles, which ensures high flight safety and mission feasibility. Takeoff and landing from unpaved runways capability, autonomous operation on unimproved airfields, load on and off load operations, competitive price and low operating costs. Thanks to successful design solutions, the Il-76 MD-90AE has impressive flight performances, one of the best in its class. Let us draw your attention to the most impressive ones. With a maximum takeoff weight of 210 tons, the aircraft is capable of transporting up to 60 tons. Cruise speed 750-800 km per hour. Flight altitude 12,200 meters. Compared to previous modifications, the modern Il-76 MD-90AE ensures transportation of heavier cargoes over longer distances. With a maximum payload of 60 tons, 
the flight range is 4,000 kilometers. With a payload weight of 52 tons, the flight range is 5,000 kilometers. Ferry flight range without payload is 9,300 kilometers. As an example, let us demonstrate you visually the flight range capability of the Il-76 MD-90AE aircraft departing from Moscow airport with a payload of 52 tons. The flight range in this case will be 5,000 kilometers or 2,700 nautic miles. Now let's move on to the design features of the aircraft. The Il-76 MD-90AE is made according to the classic scheme of military transport ramp aircraft. It has a high-mounted swept wing of high aspect ratio, a T-type tail, and a loading and unloading ramp that is located in the rear part of the fuselage. It should be noted that the cockpit and cargo compartment are fully pressurized. The main dimensions of the aircraft are presented on the screen. The aircraft length is 46.6 meters. Its wingspan is 50.5 meters. The height of the aircraft in the parking lot is 14.42 meters. The cockpit of the aircraft is divided into two parts. The pilot's cockpit is located on top. There are four crew members in it. The crew commander, left pilot, his assistant, right pilot. Behind them is a flight engineer. Behind the right is a radio operator. The crew commander and his assistants are responsible for general piloting and control of the aircraft. The flight engineer starts the engines, controls their thrust and reverse, controls the wing mechanization, and etc. The task of the flight radio operator is to provide radio communications between aircraft and with ground control posts. Below is the navigator's cockpit, which is designed for navigation and combat application of the aircraft especially with no external navigation data. In the front part of the cargo compartment, the workplace of a flight engineer for airborne equipment is located. He is responsible for the probe operation of the loading and unloading equipment, as well as correct mooring of cargoes. In addition, he monitors the serviceability of all the electrical equipment on board of the aircraft. The Il-76 MD-90AE has the best cargo compartments in its class in terms of its length – 20 meters or 65.6 feet, with a total volume of 321 cubic meters, which ensures transportation of almost the entire range of goods and military equipment of ground forces. As we have said earlier, the aircraft demonstrates impressive transport capabilities, providing transportation of a wide range of various cargoes, including heavy armored vehicles, for instance, up to three infantry fighting vehicles or two self-propelled howitzers or servicemen. In a single deck version, the aircraft is capable of transporting up to 145 servicemen. To perform that, the aircraft is fitted out with side seats in the cargo compartment and removable central seats. If necessary, it is possible to install an additional section for transporting of up to 225 military personnel in total in a two-deck version. The U-76 MD-90AE provides landing, including by air dropping of personnel, military equipment and cargoes. To ensure the air dropping of paratroopers, a cable system for forced opening of parachutes, separators and flow breakers are installed in the cargo compartment. In total, the aircraft can deliver up to 126 paratroopers with full equipment. To ensure the autonomy of operation, including in isolation from the base airfield, the cargo compartment of the Il-76 MD-90AE is equipped with all necessary onboard loading and unloading devices for prompt loading and unloading of large-sized bulky cargoes, as well as for non-self-propelled wheeled vehicles. Loading of cargoes and equipment is carried out through a ramp with the help of onboard winches and electric hoists. The ramp during the loading and unloading can be installed in horizontal or other position necessary for loading. 
The main handling devices installed on board include descending cargo ramp with a carrying capacity of 20 tons, two cargo pulling winches with a maximum force of 3,000 kg force, four electric hoists, two on each side, each with a lifting capability of 3 tons with an overhang of up to 5 meters, four ramp extensions rearranged along the width of the ramp, and easily removable roller tracks, providing convenient and fast loading and unloading of goods. The floor of the cargo compartments and the ramp is equipped with mooring knots, roller tracks, and special nests for installing removable equipment. The Il-76 MD-90A can carry two partially dismantled heavy helicopters, such as Mi-17 type or Black Hawk, or three units of light helicopters, for instance, Ansat helicopter or Bell 412. Il-76 MD-90AE provides transportation of three standard 20-foot containers, while the European transport aircraft only two. The aircraft is equipped with four Russian serially produced PS-90A76 turbojet engines. They have high technical characteristics, ensuring high flight safety for crew and passengers. Engine thrust in takeoff mode, maximum increased, is 16 tons or 156.9 kN. Specific consumption in cruising mode, no more than 0.595 kg per kg force hours. It should be noted that the PS90A76 turbojet engines comply with all international environmental standards for emission and noise, thanks to which the aircraft can be operated around the world without restrictions. The TA-12A auxiliary power unit of the aircraft provides launch of the main engines on the ground, the power supply of the air conditioning system, and the power supply of the aircraft's onboard network with AC and DC electric power. The time of continuous operation is at least 8 hours. Starting the main engines on the ground is provided up to an altitude of 4,500 meters, in flight up to 7,000 meters. The Il-76 MD-90AE is equipped with a modern integrated complex of onboard radio electronic equipment, which ensures the performance of the entire range of tasks assigned to it with high efficiency. The Avionics suite includes PNPK sighting navigational piloting system with GPS, GLONASS, satellite and inertial navigation systems, ground proximity warning system, TCAS or TCAS traffic collision avoidance system, TACAN tactical air navigation system, automatic digital control system, weather navigational radar and panoramic radar station. What is more, the aircraft cockpit in its turn is equipped with multifunctional indicators in accordance with the glass cockpit concept, providing high ergonomics, automation of piloting and application modes, and reducing the loads on the crew members. To survey the Earth's water surface at any time of the day, in order to detect, recognize and automatically track the landmarks of the landing sites, the MOEFS-90A multi-channel optical electronic sighting system was installed on the aircraft. The image from the optical electronic system is transmitted to the multifunctional indicators in the pilot's cockpit. Next, I would like to draw your attention to the President S Airborne Defense System, one of the most effective in the world and that has proven its high qualities during various armed conflicts. The Airborne Defense Complex President S significantly increases the survival rate in the field, thanks to protection against guided missiles with infrared, radar and laser homing heads. It is capable of providing successive suppression of at least two simultaneously attacking missiles. The composition of the President S self-defense complex includes the radar warning receiver, missile approach warning system, jammer, laser directed infrared countermeasures or laser optoelectronic jamming system, countermeasures dispensing system, and electronic control unit. It's worth noting that the protection of the aircraft from potential threats can take place completely automatically without the participation of crew members. Due to its versatility, the aircraft can be quickly converted to other variants if necessary. 
For instance, in the flying hospital version, up to five four-seat medical volumes can be installed on the aircraft, which provide medical evacuation of up to 20 victims with resuscitation on board. At the same time, up to 35 lightly wounded and eight medical workers can be placed on the side seats of the aircraft. In the sanitary version, while installing a set of removable sanitary racks for a unified stretcher, it is possible to transport up to 72 wounded on stretchers, 38 on seats, and four people of medical personnel. In the firefighting version, it is possible to install the VAP-2 fire extinguishing system in the cargo compartment, which is designed to extinguish aerial or forest fires from the aircraft. The VAP-2 system is a quick detachable equipment consisting of tanks filled with fire extinguishing liquid, water or reagent, installed in the cargo compartment of the aircraft. The VAP-2 system consists of two tanks 14 meters long with a total capacity of 42,000 liters, which provides coverage of 60,000 square meters of fire in 10 seconds. Discharge of water or special liquids is carried out from an altitude of 80 to 200 meters. Re-equipment of the aircraft in a firefighting version does not require a large amount of work and can be carried out in an airfield conditions. It's also worth emphasizing that the aircraft can be operated both from concrete and unpaved airfields. Takeoff and landing of the Il-76 MD-90AE on an unpaved airfield is possible with a load of 33 tons with a soil strength of 7.5 kilograms per square centimeter. Takeoff run is 1,540 meters, running length 960 meters. The aircraft demonstrates high service life indicators, which are service life 30 years, number of landings 8,000, flight time 30,000 hours. Thus, in conclusion, I would like to mention once again that in terms of its functionality and onboard equipment, the latest Il-76 MD-90AE military transport aircraft that has a spacious cargo compartment and is fitted out with modern reliable engines and onboard self-defense complex is a universal transport platform capable of solving a wide range of transport landing tasks in various conditions. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in the next video.